Question 12 from Section 2 of the 2022 Higher Physics Examination from the SQA. A student uses the following circuit to investigate the internal resistance R and the EMF E of a battery. Now you can see the circuit diagram there. Switch S is closed and the student uses readings of current I and the terminal potential difference V from the circuit to produce the graph shown. And here's the graph which the student obtains. And no doubt about it, we'll be asked question about this in a minute's time. There's a the voltage in the y-axis and the current in the x-axis. And that's the graph when the different values of current are used and the different values of the terminal potential difference are recorded. Okay, for the first question, it says the following. It says, state what is meant by the term electromagnetic force, EMF. It's one mark, so it's got to be your set piece statement. The EMF of a cell is the amount of electrical energy in joules gained by one coulomb of electric charge as it passes through the cell. You just have to remember that, and that's exactly what the EMF stands for. Question 12 continued part B. Using information from the graph to determine part I, the EMF E of the battery for one mark, and for part two, the internal resistance R of the battery for three marks. Let's take a look at the graph itself. Just slide up, and there is the graph we've been looking at. Just squeeze it in there no more. You can see that we have along the x-axis, we have the current measuring amps, zero to 0 0.6 amps, and in the y-axis we've got the voltage, the terminal potential difference measured in volts. Now, to find the EMF of the graph, we know that the EMF of the graph is found by measuring the terminal potential difference across the terminals when there's no current drawn. So, to find that part of the graph, we have to draw or produce the line back until it cuts the y-axis or the voltage axis. So it's going to cut it up here. And it's going to cut it at 6 volts. So you can see at no current, 0, 0, 0.00, we've got a value of 6 volts. And that is the EMF. That's where we find the EMF of the cell. So we can put that down. The EMF of the cell, the electromotive force, is going to go to 6 volts. And that's the first one down for one mark. Now to find the second part of that for three marks, we have to find the internal resistance of the cell. And from the graph, we can find the internal resistance by working out the gradient of that graph. And this means that the gradient M from our maths class, M stand for gradient, is equal to minus the internal resistance R. Because it's a minus gradient, as you can see, it's sloping from it's sloping downwards from left to right. So our job is just really to work out a value of the gradient. There's various ways we can do it, but you can stick to your maths class way of doing it. You can simply go and look at the two points on the line. I'm going to pick that point there, which is going to be at a position of 0 0.5 for the current. And it's going to be 2 volts up. So that's my first point there like that. I'm going to choose another point on the line, one which I can see quite clearly. And if I look up here, I can see this one here, as long as they're kind of far apart from each other. So that's this one here. And once again, it's 0 0.1 across. So it's going to be 0 0.1 for the current. And it's going to be 2 squares above the 5, 5.2, because 1 square stands for 0 0.1. So there are my two points. And I can name them X and Y. I can say X1, Y1. I can say x2, y2, just to keep me right. Now, the gradient of a graph from our maths department is going to be the difference in the y-coordinates. So it's going to be uh, y1 minus y2. As long as we keep the same uh, order, uh, it's going to be x1 take away x2. So that's me working out the difference in the y components and a difference in the x components. Okay, what's y1? It's 5.2, so put a bracket around that, 5.2. I'm going to take away the second y component, which is going to be 2.0, 2.0. And for the bottom one, x1 is going to be 0 0.1. And I'm going to take away the second, which is going to be 0 0.5. And you can see I'm going to get a negative answer there. Because I'll do that in my calculator, I'm going to get 3.2 divided by and 0 0.1 take away 0 0.5 because that means 0 0.4 so we're going to get a negative gradient there so 3.2 divided by that is going to give us minus 8 now I know that the gradient M is equal to minus 
the internal resistance, so minus R has got to be equal to minus 8, and therefore then I can say that R, the internal resistance, is equal to 8, and the resistance is measured in ohms because we're using voltage and we're using current. So therefore, the internal resistance is going to be 8 ohms. Question part C. Using the circuit shown, describe how the student could measure the value of the EMF. Now, the EMF is the measure across a volt of a voltmeter across the terminals of the battery when there's no current drawn from it. Remember the graph. So, if we keep that switch here open, and I'll just circle out for you, we keep the switch open, then no current is taken from the battery, and therefore the readings across the terminal by the voltmeter is going to be the EMF of the cell. So make sure there's no current being drawn from the battery. Make sure the ammeter reading is zero amps. And that's because the switch is open. And therefore just take the voltmeter reading across the terminals and that's the value of the EMF. The EMF of a cell can be found when there's no current drawn from the battery. Okay, here we've got a simulation of a similar type of circuit we have in the question. And let's see a couple of things which have been asked in the question for a revision. You can see the voltmeters across the terminals of the battery. And the battery has got an internal resistance of 8 ohms. If I just click on that, you can possibly see the value of it. It's got 9 volts. And it's also got an internal resistance of 8 ohms on the battery. So it's got an internal resistance of 8 ohms. The current flowing from the battery is zero because the switch is open and that means no current is taken from the cell. So that voltmeter is going to read the EMF of the cell. When I close the switch you can see that the terminal potential difference drops because we're losing voltage and we're losing voltage inside the battery because of the internal resistance of the battery. We're now drawing a current of 0 0.12 amps. Now, what would happen if I decreased the resistance of that circuit? Well, I can go down here to the resistor and I can change it by decreasing the resistance. Is it 64 ohms? And if I decrease the resistance, you can see that the terminal potential difference, in fact, is decreasing. And the current is increasing, as you can see there. So the question asks, what would, we, what would happen to the terminal potential difference if we uh, decreased the resistance R of the circuit here? Well, we, when we decrease the resistance R of the circuit, we are reducing the overall resistance of the circuit, which means we're going to increase the current taken from the battery, which means we're going to have more lost volts in the battery, because more currents going through that internal resistor. And as a result of that, the potential difference across the terminals will in fact decrease. It's a great circuit this, and practice this circuit to get good answers in your hire to come. Question 12 continued part E. The student now repeats the experiment with a different battery that has a smaller EMF and the same internal resistance. On the graph below, add a line to show how the results of this experiment compare with the original experiment. Well, that's an experiment there. We can see we can draw the line in from the graph which we had before. There's the line there like that. And it's going up there to the EMF up to here like that. I can just make it a bit better for you. Now, if we have got a battery with a similar internal resistance, then the gradient of the line will be the same. So really, we're going to have a gradient of the line which is exactly the same as the original line, but because the EMF is smaller, the line will drop down to it there. You can see that the EMF now of the new battery is in fact going to be less. If I can just draw that in, it's got less value as it cuts the V-axis, 4 volts, but the gradient of it is the same. Therefore, it will give you the same gradient as the original experiment, which means it's going to have the same internal resistance as the original battery but it's got a smaller EMF going from 6 down to 4.